I think for those of you who are circulating this man's picture, enough is enough. Seriously, enough is enough. I don't know what his ex-wife might have done to you, but I think sometimes it doesn't matter what someone did to you. It has to do with you yourself, who you truly are, who you, re who you are. And that the person you're circulating around, has this person ever done anything to you? Hell no, this person has not done anything to you. Anything to you. If his ex-wife has done anything to you, well, you confess her. It's not as if she's also a quiet person. She will face you back squarely. But this man is not on Facebook. And his children as well, they are not on Facebook. So you shouldn't come on social media. Circulating is pretty comment. It's totally wrong. For humanity's sake, you don't need to do it. Seriously. Maybe you guys just uploaded this picture, his video to get one or two things. But don't they think at this point you have to stop it? You guys have to stop it. But day by day, if you want to spite this woman, how could you just do solo to be using his, um, his ex? If you want to spite this woman, you have to use her, her ex to spite her. If this woman has done anything to you that you, you think you can never forgive her, you can face her squarely, but instead of using this man, this man is sick for, for goodness sake. This man is old for goodness sake. He's old and he's not into Facebook crackers. This man is going through hell already. He is going through her. So for humanity's sake, can't you think, don't you think you guys need to stop pro broadcasting this man's picture and video up and I'm mocking him? It's wrong. I don't know komeji. I don't know if you for you for for you Ah, my dear shit. So if I tell you want to seek vengeance, you want to revenge on someone, you can fix, you can face this, the, the person squarely. Stop using someone who, who, who needs help. Someone who needs support. This man is old for goodness sake. And he's going through, he's going through, he's going through stuff. He's going through things. Apart from old age, you all know that he's facing a lot of, a lot of troubles. So, and uh, we should all able to know the difference between current and hex. You understand? This woman is no more married to this man. Mr. Larry Oguban is no more married to this man that you guys want to spite, that you have to use this man to spite. They are not married anymore. Marriage that has collapsed for over 30 years or 25 years ago. I don't even know much about, about those stories. You understand? So, you are not bringing ex to spite someone at the moment. It doesn't make sense. And if I thought you must use someone to spite someone, it shouldn't be it shouldn't be someone an elderly man who is going through uh, who is going through life already stop being evil at one point at what point exactly will you guys know that enough is enough that whatever you have to do think about your children even after you've given up on life that you don't believe in yourself anymore think about your children there is hope in your children that thing that you might have lost that make you feel so hopeless that you can do anything for money, for monetization, for fame. Think about your children. That they are there's so many things ahead of them. Stop being evil. Evil is evil. I see. Trust me, we are not all the same. If someone does something to you and you feel like you can't forgive the person, even more that you must revenge. Face the person. Stop bringing their kids. Stop bringing their partners. Stop bringing their families. At what point you open this page, Mr. Larry Ogumba, where is this? Mr. Larry, no, 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 no. At what point, what point exactly will you guys know that? It is totally wrong. Be looking at that man, she anuma yo she yini. Be looking at that man, she anuma yo she yini. Eh, ring your TV for spite in him. Why do you have balag, but you have yes. He's looking up to God. A man who has been through life, he has seen thick and thin of life. He has been through good part of life and the hell part of it. So why can't we just stop this and stop circulating this man's picture? At what point will you guys know that this thing, this, I want what? See majority ten showcase kaki lori Facebook. At what point? Let me yes. At one point, at what point, let me put yes, this thing doesn't make sense. You should stop it. 
e ma so pe ade gun le ni o tun ma je lo le ma so pe ade ogun mo eyin e ma so pe yes le ni e ma so pe yes lo i mean e ma so pe no lo la life shouldn't be like that integrity is everything you have to look at yourself reflect yourself on whatever you're doing reflect yourself what is wrong is wrong ko loru ko meji for what for monetization for fame or because you want to revenge you want to cut scores at what point you will you guys stop bringing each other families and children outside all in the name of i want to seek revenge i want to revenge i want to revenge at what point at what point emma fi okoro you will use okoro emma fi oyunu omotutun it's totally wrong the man will yes you must insult each other but of burani e mu ju nkan te fi mama bura yin aida oloruko meji aida na pe te ba rele ele ma ko risi risi update le ka mr larry obi mo awon gun bagbo e de loju ti na eri eniyan nibi to ti mu i can't even describe it but did you guys you know that this man is an elderly man he's old he's old and uh, for you young ones igi tutu ko ti to nfi igi bigbe to fi nrerin o ti mo bi ola to nse mari if you are mocking him with this predicament you young ones you don't know your tomorrow you don't know what tomorrow hold for you kama is real trust me nothing goes forever if you think you can mock an elderly man an elderly person with this predicament with what he is facing at the moment you don't know what tomorrow is holding for you. You don't know what will become of you tomorrow. You don't know. So therefore, try with caution. Hey, mama, waru, okay, yes, this is what Facebook people like. This is what they will want. So hell with that. Say your truth. Do whatever you have to do. Either they like it or not. Either they watch you or not. Do what you think is right for you. Do what you feel like. If your children grow up tomorrow and they say this is your mother, this is your father, they will be proud of you. Not something that you yourself, your children will be like, no, that's not my mommy. That's not my dad. Stop doing ridiculous things. Don't stop being evil. At, at what point will you guys stop it? At what point will you stop it? At what point? You don't know your tomorrow. Maybe today you are mocking someone that okay, this person is unable to to afford a car. You know, you are you because you are young right now. You are mocking someone, an elderly man that this person is unable to afford car. You don't know. Maybe in your whole day you have your two legs. You don't know. Maybe at your whole age, maybe you will have your two legs. You don't know. Oni ola lo yu eni ko monto ma bi kusai neto monti ola ma bi. Ola lo yu na a monto ma bi. Ah, moto ma bi. If you say someone doesn't have a car tomorrow, and that see, mute ma so kinikon. Tell you young young people, our young young people. If you want to insult one another, you can do that too. Even though I know I'm not, I'm against it. I, I'm kicking against it. I'm not supporting it eh, because it's bullshit. I don't say it to be something reasonable, something, something you should be proud of. Like a little libu buju. It's not something anyone should be proud of. But look, when it comes to elderly people, when it comes to elderly people, you should be very very careful. Train with caution. The reason why is that you are young now, you can do whatever you still have the energy to run left and right, and you still have the chance, the time to correct some mistakes. But you see, these old people, time is not on their side. Time, as, as in they've lost it somehow, they've lost that of I mean, that advantage the way they should have taken advantage of time, but they've lost it. So you should be thinking about your own old age, your own future. If you're mocking someone today, an elderly person today that, oh, yeah, you can't even afford a cap. You don't know maybe at your own old age, you won't even have a scalp. You, don't even, you won't even have a head. So think about things you're doing on this Facebook. Think about it. Either you're a Facebook, you're a blogger, you're a updater, or updater, whatever, you, anyone, either commentators or whatever. We should think about things we are doing because... No one knows tomorrow. E de ma fi nko buruku orwe nu. Ati ki pa go shi E ma fi be nko buruku sili a ye nye. E ma fi stop mocking people with their predicament. Because you don't know your tomorrow. You don't know your tomorrow. Anyone can face challenges in life. You can, no one, as in no one is above challenges. You can face something that is beyond your strength. It will shake you. But you see one thing that can keep you going. The fact that you know that you've not done, you've never wronged anyone, you've never destroyed anybody's life. 
that is something that will give you strength. It will, it will give you strength. It will encourage you. The fact that you know that you've never for once destroyed anybody's life. You've never for once intimidated anyone. May God be with us all. Think twice before you do things. Bye-bye. Merry Christmas. Once again, bye.